save for a rainy day. Old people can often be heard telling this to younger people who are busily spending their money. You know, you shouldn't spend so much, save for a rainy day. Or maybe your grandparents send you a card for your birthday and along with the card comes money and they've written happy birthday save this for a rainy day as you can imagine this idiom means that a rainy day is a bad day or a day with unforeseen circumstances. Essentially, to save for a rainy day means to put something away, usually money, until a time when it can help you out a lot. Going along with the analogy of a rainy day, imagine you have an umbrella that you are using as a parasol. A parasol being an umbrella made specifically to block harsh sunlight. Your friend might say to you, put your umbrella away and save it for a rainy day. Enjoy the sun. Saving something for a rainy day usually means to put something away until an emergency. But it could also mean to only use something at the optimum time. Saving money for a rainy day is certainly a good idea because although you may have a lot of worries on a daily basis, your biggest problems are usually unforeseen. And as life would have it, unforeseen problems occur on a regular basis. For example, your car might break down and require costly repairs. Or perhaps the unforeseen circumstance that you had been saving money for is not a negative one, but a positive one. For example, suppose you have been saving your money for a rainy day, and one day, plane tickets to Cuba go on sale. With your rainy day fund, you can take the vacation you've always wanted. The idiom, save for a rainy day, is first found in the 1561 comedy La Spiritata by Italian playwright A.F. Grazzini. La Spiritata was later adapted to English by John Lyly, entitled The Bugbears. Though only found in written text from a few hundred years ago, you can be sure that the idea of saving for a rainy day has been around for far longer than that. Going back to saving something for the optimum time, suppose you are a farmer and have seed to sow. It would be best to save your seed for a rainy day. After all, seeds germinate best when planted in moist soil and you can skip the tedious step of watering your land. Though the idea that saving for a rainy day is related to farming makes a lot of sense, 
you will probably only ever hear it spoken in relation to money. Suppose you're in a meeting with your financial advisor regarding what to do with an inheritance. He or she might say, you should save most of it for a rainy day. Maybe your friend is giving you advice on how to manage your money as you recently got a raise at work. You should definitely save the extra for a rainy day. Though it's tempting, don't increase your spending. Let's say your teenage children have part-time jobs and you find out that they are spending all their money on items for an online game. You'd say, y'all should save some of your money for a rainy day. In the end, your children may not heed your advice, but you should not give up telling them to save for a rainy day.